Good morning, folks. Well, I didn't get the big gap up that I was hoping. In fact, it's actually coming down quite a bit here in the last couple of minutes. And I suspect I'm going to break even. Um, basically, exact same spot where I sold yesterday for that 10% around uh, 259, 260. That's where I think uh, they're going to open up the, uh, the calls. But hey, that is A-OK -okay with me. I'm not going to be losing money on this trade. And so that's good. That's that's all. That's I'm happy about that. I mean, sure. I wish I could have uh, sold yesterday into this uh, huge move here, and I got really excited because I saw uh, after hours trading at 328.69. That made it really awesome. Yeah, it's it's a terrible thing that it's all coming down drastically here in the last couple of minutes. Really wanted it to be above 328 somewhere around there but not gonna happen it's a-okay see what happens alrighty market is about to open in T minus 30 seconds here and we've come down a lot look at this candlestick right here yeah even 259 right I mean even 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 from yesterday's action I went ahead and sold, sold at 265, sold at 265. Oh wow, look at that huge drop! Wow, did I time this perfectly here? Sold at 265. Uh, just to review what happened, let me show you the uh, trades here. Um, you can't right here. So I bought originally at 235. If you saw my video yesterday bought another another uh option here at 238 this is the 326 calls that expire well yesterday eight days today seven days of course um sold one at 259 sold the second one at 265 i'm happy made money we're good life goes on we're gonna wait for the next day trade the next uh signal Two thousand years later. What's going on, everybody? It's after hours right now, guys, and I apologize for not getting to you guys any quicker or sooner. I am a father first, and I've just been taking care of my son here and just spending some good quality time. And then, of course, I have a full-time day job during the day, and so I'm not able to actually record live trades. Um, and then actually I won't, I'm not able to actually record until later and upload these videos until much later. So I apologize for that, but I just wanted to review, uh, the trade, the trade that I took yesterday and that I sold, uh, this morning. If we look at the one hour chart, the middle chart here, and you can see that we went up yesterday and I was hoping for a gap up, uh, but it never, it didn't, it kind of opened a little on the downside and then came back up and then look at this huge drop but essentially I went ahead and sold uh, right at the beginning and right at the open and thankfully so my strategy if you take a look here far left hand chart you can see this is the one minute chart intraday chart for the calls that I traded like you saw in the video and my strategy calls for if it comes back to my break even point my entry point basically um, I'm supposed to get out and as you can see during this part of the day it got below my entry point which my lowest was 235 to uh, 238 so I would have been basically stopped out right here that would have been my my stop loss basically and it actually went up from there this is the actual move that I was hoping for at the open this morning. They got up to $3.25, but that's okay. I'm absolutely happy with my trade. I didn't lose money and that's what it's all about. Do not lose money. And then look at this ginormous drop back down to the 220 um, price basically. As you can see, the market's pulled back quite a bit. I don't know what, what caused this drop, there must have been something going on in the markets um, announcement, maybe just people taking profits. I'm not sure, but this is the five minute chart, far right hand corner, big drop intraday. And really I'm set up. I have my strategy set. That's okay that I missed out on this enormous run. I at least 
I'm giving myself that opportunity to make more money. I've never been able to do that. Um, so I'm readjusting and I'm understanding that I have to leave a little bit on the table for that opportunity for higher gains. Interesting thing, guys, I also wanted to show you, um, had I traded the cues instead of spy, I would have came out pretty awesome and it would have been the perfect trade. And uh, we got a, a signal up arrow here, entry signal here, exact same signal essentially as spy. And we would have been getting in on this, on the beginning of the candlestick after the signal. I would have been trading the uh, 219 calls that expire in 11 days. You know, we could have bought in somewhere at around 830, somewhere around this area as high as $2.55. And by the end of the day yesterday, they got up to $3.31. That would have been an awesome, awesome, fabulous trade there. But I didn't trade the queues. I traded SPY. But I still wanted to show you guys um, the awesomeness of this mobile band strategy. I love it. I absolutely love it. At a later date, I'm going to make a full video tutorial video of how I'm actually trading the mobile band strategy, guys. So stay tuned for that. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I apologize again for not being able to get this uh, video at, uh, you know, earlier, earlier than, than what I am uploading this video at. Again, being a dad, that's my number one priority. So thank you so much, everybody. If you haven't already, uh, consider becoming a subscriber. Tap that subscribe button, tap the like button. It'll help me out tremendously. And comment down below what you thought about today's trade and video. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. See you here again on the next trade, hoping that it's a green trade.